it's so nice to see you. And I said to Judy, she looks so chic, doesn't she? Yes, you look great. Right. <laughs> so, I can dress up for you. Oh, well, thank you. And I love your necklace. That's thank so you. pretty. So you worked at Morgan Stanley mm -hmm. for five years. Yep. And uh, during that period of time, were you miserable, Judy? Or what did you think? <laughs> no, just because now she's a chef. So I can't imagine yeah. you were doing, yeah. your, you know, fulfilling your passions. It was crazy. I learned a lot, loved the people I worked with, but I didn't have that driving force. Like every time I went home on the weekends, I didn't want to read The Economist. I didn't want to read Barron's. You know, I couldn't care less what Warren Buffett was saying. You know, I Sorry, was Warren. Like, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just wanted to read cookbooks and like learn how to make like the perfect turkey. And and yeah. when you told your parents that, you know, here you have a pretty pretty good job, you know, at, at, at on Wall Street and Morgan Stanley and all that stuff, living the dream. And when you told your parents, hey, I'm going to chuck it all and become a chef. What did they say? Uh, they were slightly suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't take it no, well, in other they words. They didn't take it well at, at all. I mean, you know, this is mo mom and dad. They're very traditional. You know, they, they grew up in Korea during the wartime, and they're all about stable careers. You know, Morgan Stanley had status, you know, and you're just like, they want you to gravitate towards the safer things, and so they weren't too happy. Yeah, on the other hand, you know, you also had to have some some luck in this because it's one thing to say I want to be a chef, I want to go into cooking, uh, but you had a chance meeting with Gordon Ramsay that really changed everything for yeah. you. Yeah, it did. What happened? Uh, I was eating in his three Michelin star restaurant in London, and um, he happened to be there and was doing the rounds at the tables. And I told him I was a chef, and he said, Well, when are you going to start working for me? And one thing led to the next. I came in to do an internship, and I was there for about two and a half years. And now you're the executive chef at the Playboy Mansion? No, at the Playboy Club. Oh, sorry, the Playboy <laughs> Club. So, That's what is fine. the Playboy Club? You should Club? come and join us. I you should, should, but what? Whoa. So, so. <laughs> Okay, well, what is, so is that just a restaurant, a hotel, what it's, is that? It's a restaurant, it's a casino, it's a fine dining restaurant, um, we have, a, you know, private dining rooms, it's, it's a cigar terrace, we have a cocktail lounge, a nightclub, it's, it's a mammoth. And it's so fun. I'm just curious, because here you are, a very strong woman, you talk about the testosterone-filled world of Wall yeah. Street, mm -hmm. and even uh, of the world of cooking. And so, how do you feel about working there? I, I think I would have very mixed feelings about oh, completely. being surrounded by Playboy bunnies. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I thought about it really long and hard. Um, it's a controversial brand. You know, it's, it's had its up and has its down. Not everybody loves it, but it's still a super brand of the world. It's one of the uh, brand champions, if you will. It's up there with Nike, Coca-Cola. And I was like, you know what? Life is about having fun and creating memories. And I've had more fun with Playboy in these past three years. I bet you I have. have stories. I bet you have. I, I'm just like... It's, it's crazy. And are you able to kind of interject your, your Korean uh, background with the food that you're making at the Playboy Club? Definitely. I mean, um, Asian food is very in vogue right now. People love the flavors, particularly Korean flavors. They're so vibrant and, and fragrant. And I, I do a lot of dishes with Korean twists. Well, this is exciting.